Hi everyone, my name is Dominique. I'm from the Weston Public Library. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a DIY Pinterest craft. Um, these are fabric hangers that I've made out of this old plastic hanger. So, um, if you'd like to learn, it's simple, it's easy. You can use materials that you have at home. I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, so these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need um, a plastic hanger, a pair of scissors. Um, I have this um, heavy duty glue. Anything that you have um, should work, like a Gorilla Glue, uh, something that's pretty strong. And then I have some fabric here um, that's cotton based. That's what's gonna work best for your fabric hanger. You can use an old pillowcase, old sheets, anything that you have um, around the house that isn't gonna bunch up uh, is gonna work great for this project. Your first step is gonna be cutting the fabric. Um, this fabric I have right here, you're gonna uh, basically roll it out onto your surface. You want a flat surface that's going to be easiest to work with. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting about a half an inch um, strips. And those are the strips that we're going to use to wrap the um, hangers with. So when you're cutting your strips, you don't have to worry about them being uh, too perfect. That's not going to matter once we start wrapping the fabric. This is about the size we're going to be using. So once you cut your strips, um, then we're going to start the process of wrapping our hangers. Okay, now that I have my strip cut, um, you may have to use multiple strips, but that's super simple. Um, we're going to get started. I like to start from this point of the um, hanger. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dab of glue right here where we're going to set our fabric. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just putting it directly on to the hanger. Next step, I'm going to be um, putting the fabric right on top of that glue, gently dabbing. Um, we just want to make sure that that sets in place before we start wrapping. Okay, for the next step, you're going to be wrapping your fabric around your hanger. You want to wrap about halfway down, overlapping with the previous fabric. Um, you want to make sure that it's uh, tight enough so it's not loose on the hanger and you're going to wrap until you reach the end and when you do reach the end you're going to put another little glue dot right um, on the hanger and you can keep going, use a different color fabric. I have this color fabric here. I'm going to do the base so it'll look really cute um, and it's a great way to keep your clothes from falling off your hangers. So as you can see, I've reached the bottom part of my hanger. I've just put a little dot of glue and I'm gonna um, start cutting my strips of my next color. You may have to hold um, that fabric on the glue so it doesn't slide off until it's dry. It should only take a couple seconds. I'm gonna be applying my next color. As you can see, I have just put a little glob of glue right on that end piece. So I'm gonna start wrapping my second color. So like we did before, I'm just gonna hold that down for a couple seconds, make sure it's set in place, and then I'm gonna begin um, wrapping my next color. Okay, so I've just finished um, wrapping this other side and the bottom. So as you can see, that is complete. Our next step is going to be to cover the top. I usually like to use a separate piece for that. So I'm going to do the top in this uh, pretty dark blue. I have just finished wrapping this final piece. I'm just going to make sure that I cover as much as the tip of the hanger as I possibly can. And I'm just going to trim that last little piece. I'm going to apply a little dot of glue. And our hanger will be almost complete. So let's see. So just like that. So there you have it. Um, if you want to add a little touch, you can always add a ribbon to this part right here. I'll include a picture of that. 
if you want to trim any of the little, uh, let's see, threads, you can always do that too, clean it up a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed this. And if you make any, please send us some pictures. We'd love to see them. All right. We'll see you soon.